Okay, so recently you might have seen in community I addressed to speak to Diamonds Live. That's for a reason. I got a few things to address. Number one, I've spoken on many things that make no sense dealing with this case. Many. The one thing I can't get. I have no issue with the mother buying things, doing what she wants. It's her money now to do what she wants with. That's her situation. But what I don't understand is the lack of emphasis you put on knowing everybody, everybody that was involved with your son's demise. And there were a lot of people, as we explained here, that were involved with causing issue with him. You don't address any of them. Then when I'm speaking to a person that did the most, they claim to be personally communicating with you like everything's all good. No, to make things worse, I catch a live with you sitting with midget trunks going over music when X and him had an issue because he used his social media. You don't remember that? That is a mad suspect. That. That's besides everything that authorities looking at. I'm not listening. That's between you and the law. I'm just telling you what makes no sense out here. And here's where my stomach starts to turn. I got more concern from the suspect's mother that they're accusing the accusers, accusing the mother's son about her son going to prison than I did on response to questions of me trying to figure out who was involved with this young boy's demise not only that here's why i say funny business because here's where it gets a bit deeper y'all i then start getting messages from other women who claim to allegedly now we haven't seen any papers that show that genesis is telling the truth there's other women allegedly claiming that they may be in the same boat. Now, one of them, I seen, listen, I think y'all need to talk. The resemblance is uncanny. It's uncanny. By my opinion. And various women are getting threats from Jennifer sitting up in your house threatening other women that claim they may have the baby. I haven't heard you mention nothing yet about that. Now, you know it's an ongoing investigation with that, right? Because whoever it was went and shot up the wrong house. They're receiving threats and messages. This is all, there's proof to all of this. I've seen it, I got it. And you say nothing. So someone else has your grandson or your granddaughter. They're doing all that and you won't have no problem with it. Or at least claiming to. You're not even going to test it. You're just going to be like, whatever. But Jenny's going out of her way to make sure stuff happens. Do you see how stupid this sounds? Oh, yeah. Dom, you said you made no money off this. Do you get where you lose the moment you say that? What are, what are we doing? What what platform are we on? Do we not monetize? You make money off of monetization. That's the first way. The second way, didn't you receive a plaque from the mother? It's worth nups, nothing. It's worth absolutely nothing. See, the thing is, you sneak talk these people and say, I'm not receiving no money, but you're receiving items of value. It's just as good as money. Do you see how funny style things are? Then they look at me like I'm crazy. Like right now, he's going to be like, what is he talking about? Really? Come on, man. Y'all, listen. I don't have a problem with y'all doing it the way y'all do it. But be real. Be authentic. This is the problem I have. The whole time I've been looking for authentic people. The whole time I've been looking for authentic people, this whole time, I found them when I talked to Queen Prodigy and Chris Ed. I haven't found another authentic person yet. 
people trying to say, oh, you're just doing it because I'm doing it because of that. And he's not dog. Your whole intro has X in the beginning. You have a collaborated collage, mirage, a memorandum, whatever you do that has him in the beginning. Every time you play the. <sighs> Yo, I just love. That's why I love when I meet authentic people like me. And I met a lot of them, trust me. And the things they had to say about him, the situation around him, they had documents showing the mother traveling back and forth. You're starting to make me believe them. When I'm looking at how y'all move, I'm starting to actually believe them. Then I'm still trying to figure out, don't forget, the documents surrounding the niece, don't think that went quiet. I told you, when FBI gets involved, everything's quiet. It's a little girl that drowned magically, magically. We, only when you went to the island. No, let's do you one better. I got you one better. This stuff I'm mentioning is light compared to what they're looking at. Light. Light, light compared to what they're looking at. This is the best part of what they're looking at. Let's get a bit deeper with it right here. You already know, and it gets a bit deeper. You know how I'll do it. <sighs> Were you the one, ma'am, ma'am, I'm asking the mother this one question. Were you the one that insisted, whatever the name is, Siphon or Lenard? Were you the one that insisted that they go with him to the store? Careful how you answer that. Careful. Well, what they're looking at now, careful. Even if you want to answer under a fake name, careful. Were you the one that insisted that they go with him to the store? Reva Motorsports. Because as long as I know, he never hung out with them like that. The people that are witnesses, they didn't kick it like that. So why did one of them go to the store? For protection? Funny how one of them go for protection and that's the day something happens to him. Does that make sense to y'all? Ma'am, does that make sense to you? As his mother, does that make sense? He been good, good all this time. Him hanging out with Tankhead and stuff. The moment Tankhead's away, one of them show up to the store with him and he gets, allegedly gets shot. That's, that's not random. Random in my shotgun sugar voice. Let's look at something else. Aside from the women being threatened. And not really getting into that, not wanting to have anything to do with it. You didn't think it was smart to check them out or have them bring the kid to get checked out. And it's a few of them that I have. Really? But I openly have. Over the Internet. The slag that lays beside you in the house beside you threatening these women. Why? There's such a lie. Why? Why is she doing it? Because that's that's felony on its own. Florida, Florida law. That's a felony. And it's many threats. And you don't think that's smart to check out. Now, I know y'all watched it. Stop playing. You don't think she's been here? Stop playing. How would I have talked to her on the phone if she ain't been here? She knows what's going on. Why is she not acting? But she can make time to get with Trunks in the studio. She can make time to take other artists up to do promos on the channel. Do you see how crazy that looks? Ma'am, one more question. Last one. You don't have to, I advise you not to answer. What was the time period you brought another house besides his departure from this world? Unfortunately, correct? Did you not go and get another house other than the one he brought for you? What was the purpose of that? Careful how you answer that. Careful. Because I have documents stating otherwise of people saying you did it for another reason. Not only that, people I spoke to on the island you're from that know you, detailing your character, saying some things that are starting to add up. At first, I doubted them.
but it's starting to make sense. A lot of things they were saying. Why is that? Why is that? I got people that did a rundown of Cypher and Lenard's history. Do they not have an extensive cri criminal history? No, let's do you one better. Because I see you up there with Solomon Sounds. Solomon, what'd you do in college? What'd you fake in college? What did you do? You don't think they got that? You did something in college that got you in a courtroom and somehow you made it out. All of that does not add up to make the picture clear. Sir, your public record, it showed you doing stuff that were very synonymous to what has happened to him. Listen, I'm going to just go radio silent on it. I, like I told y'all, I'm done with it. But I had to mention that because Dom said he made no money. This woman pranced a plaque up into your place. That's worth more money than you make on YouTube. And he's saying, I don't do it for money. Listen, I have no problem supporting a grieving mother. But when certain actions are going on behind the scenes, as I see, as someone that is well equipped, well knowledgeable, well skilled, excuse me, skilled in investigation techniques, that's suspect, ma'am. Ma'am, that's suspect. There are so many cases that fit this very diagnosis where we find funny behavior, let alone the men you got, the bums you got living up in your house. Because they ain't men, they ain't working, they're living off of you. The bums you got living up in your house. Were, one of them were with him when he got deceased. And he was supposed to protect. How are you going to protect them in some flip-flops? Running around looking at motorcycles and some flip-flops. What are you protecting? Son. You think, look, what I'm doing is light, light. What they're about to do you is dirty. The way them investigators are going to do you, yo, you, yo, they think they're scot-free. Yeah, you think you're scot-free. But I'm telling you when the time's right, the time will be the time. And I don't think, I don't even know. The people you got caught up in this, you couldn't pay off enough people. You couldn't pay off enough. Guys, it's not funny style. Dom, every time something's going on with her, you jump up for media. And the problem is, I don't do it. I don't play that. If something's not right, I'm not just going with it. She was put in the media for doing a guy claiming she was doing voodoo. He gets arrested trying to get in her house. That makes no sense. There's a lot of stuff that's going on that makes no sense. Funny style. God will, will repay. Mark my words. God will repay. And I'm not talking about whatever God you're talking about. I'm talking about the true and living. He will repay. And that money would not have been worth every bit of that eternity you spend where you're going. I'm telling you. The stuff they're looking at, the people you got hanging. Around, so you're telling me you're going to hang around this old bum living up off of you, instead of addressing the wrongs around him, you're just going to take, oh, these men they arrested did it. When there's no evidence and they have everything on their side investigating to show that they didn't do it. Really? You're not going to look at the evidence? You're wrong. You're wrong for that. What we did over here, it was the right way. We're addressing everybody, even friends around him that we caught setting them up. Doing things, looking at his media, using his stuff. And I see you up in the stool, you hopped up in the stool with one of them to make a track when he ain't made a hit yet. I know you pay for those views, boy. I know you pay for them. You ain't make a hit yet. Stop playing. Ski Mask was the last hope for you. And I'm pretty sure Solo Dolo, he's doing his thing. Period. What are they talking about, yo? Then it was Tankhead. 
He gets locked up. I hear of no one visiting him. Nothing happened to support him. Guys, coming up here, dealing with the situation, I'm thinking of us getting together to support him in some way because I don't see them doing that. It's not even supporting him. You could have ran as much money down there. He's still locked up. How about supporting and keeping his name alive while he's in there if that's y'all guy? Because he done stepped up for a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all. And they did nothing to have his back. Just out here kicking that garbage on the mic. That's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. Yo, the receipts I got, you're dis. Yo. The receipts I have, are they true or not? I'm just going to ask that. Because best believe the cops got the same one. I hope it's not true. Especially if you're thinking of kicking albums for a few more years, whatever y'all doing. I hope it's not true. Because maybe you need to investigate your son's documents, your son's records, and see who was funny style around him. I've yet to see anyone step up and truly look into what was going on around him. Because some of the people I see you with, he had problems with. So how is it all good now? How is it all good because he's gone? Or is it all good because he's gone? Suspect. Suspect. This is Special Agent C's coming to you with another one. I'm telling you, keep your eye on it. There's a lot of stuff happening that didn't come out yet. And they don't want it to. Because they want to railroad them. When it's time for it to come out, they want to run you for life. They don't want you for a few years. Why would I want you for a few years if you have so much fraudulent activity I can get you for life? Especially concerning the day he died. Yo. He took, yo, I talked to the agent about the phone records. Suspect. Also, before it happened, there was an argument. You want to talk about what that argument was about? I don't think y'all do. I don't think y'all do. This is crazy, man. These suspects, are they really guilty? Because they're not going to court first. It's them going to court first. But are they really guilty? I spoke, I had private conversations with his mom a lot. And she's telling me they didn't do it. But what I'm confused at is why isn't his mom going after, deep down, going hard for everybody that was involved? I'm confused. I'm confused at that. Ma'am, I reached out to you. I told you I'm investigating to get justice. Do you want justice? Do you want justice? Do you believe what I believe? All rights reserved.